Good morning and welcome back. It's time now for Education Matters. As the state budget gets passed and finalized, many students are left worrying about their scholarship and grant money. Dr. Craig Douglas is here to talk about what students can do when scholarships are cut back. So good morning. Thank you good so much morning. for joining us. So this is a really big deal for a lot of students looking ahead to next year. What can some of these students do under these circumstances? Yeah, even it's this year. I mean, my understanding is that some students that are caught in this last latest budget yeah. cut actually had award letters that were sent to them mm -hmm. with X number of dollars ranging from, I mean, a thousand to two thousand or more, yeah. uh, pending the budget. Well, when the budget cuts occurred, now mm -hmm. that's basically yanked from their package. Right. So what are their options? Uh, this, this was suggested to us by Gary, and I had a conversation with him and said, you know, really, there's no one pathway. Okay. But I'm going to give advice that I would give my own son or daughter if they were caught in this conundrum. Perfect. Um, first, if they haven't already done it, I'd get in to see someone on campus in hmm. financial aid yeah. and pose the question, what do you think I should do? And see what their input is, because sometimes the boots on the ground advice is mm -hmm. much better than my advice from a distance. Mm -hmm. um, and those connections on campus will vary by the size of the campus and by the role the person has, if it's an official in financial aid or if it's an instructor that the, the student has a connection with or a college administrator. When I was dean at, at Saginaw Valley, I had a couple of ca cases where students had scholarship issues. They came in to, to contact me, then I made contacts to see what options they mm -hmm. had. And surprisingly, they had some options. So I would keep hope, and I would get as much support, boots on the ground as possible. Yeah. Second, I would try and backfill whatever that dollar amount was, whatever that award was that's gotten yanked. I try and backfill that with dollars. I would look for extra employment. I would look for perhaps a short-term loan from mom, dad, grandpa, grandma, someone within the family. Mm -hmm. I would try and not go to the student loan market if possible. Mm -hmm. uh, an extra job, an extra uh, income stream, I think all things being equal is probably preferable. And then third, I would become politically engaged. I would tell my story to my state rep, my state senator. I would try and make an appointment to do it face to face wow. because always telling the story face to face is far more effective and real and whether we believe it or not I really think that our representatives do measure impact by feedback wow. that they receive and then I would follow up I'd be kind of a squeaky wheel <laughs> I would continue to inquire in a very polite in a very friendly way yeah. to try and get some help and some assistance. Because the bottom line is they're in a, a tough situation Absolutely. and maybe some good can come of it, but mm. it's not gonna happen by not taking action. Right. There's gotta be some steps taken in my opinion. All right, so keep hope. Yes. Yeah, and start with your university specifically. Yes. All right, excellent advice, and I know a lot of students might be facing this. So thank you again, Dr. Douglas. Thank you. For more information about today's topic, check out the TV5 Hot Links page.